Can you remember all the Taisho era secrets we've learned up to the Entertainment District arc? Thanks to them, we've learned secrets and facts about everyone and everything. And today, we'll recap all the Taisho era secrets that have been uncovered so far. 1. In the first Taisho era secret, we got scammed. Tanjiro was about to tell us Urokodaki's age, but he got interrupted and didn't tell us. Since then, there's only been speculation. 2. Tanjiro tells us that Urokodaki wears a mask because demons used to make fun of him for his kind face. He got tired of it and started wearing his Tengu mask. 3. In the beginning, Zenitsu refused to go to the final selection, but was brought there after he got slapped by Gramps. I love that old man. 4. In episode 5, the Kusagai Crow didn't give Tanjiro time to tell us another Taisho era secret. My guess is that the secret was about the pro. I bet it sleeps in a unicorn onesie and didn't want anyone to know. 5. The Swamp Demon has been grinding his teeth like crazy since he was a human. Thank god demons can regenerate. I don't want to imagine how that guy's teeth looked when he was a human. 6. Toyo, the guy from the Udon stand, makes Udon in a sock sub because he was born and raised there and deeply loves the place. Honestly, I had completely forgotten about that guy's name. 7. And of course, one of the Taisho secrets in the Asakusa arc had to be about Yushiro simping for Tamayo. Tanjiro revealed that Yushiro is so obsessed with Tamayo that he has a Lady Tamayo journal, and his hobby is writing 7 to 10 pages daily. 8. Yahaba and Susumaru didn't know each other before the day Muzan commanded them to go and find Tanjiro and Nezuko. Apparently, they became friends while chatting on the way to Tamayo's clinic. 9. Each Kusagai crow has a name, and Tanjiro's is called Matsuemon Tenouji. This isn't mentioned in the anime, but I read that Matsuemon chose his own name and is quite disgusted by Zenitsu thanks to their first meeting. 10. I'm sure this is a secret to no one, but in episode 11, Tanjiro reveals that Zenitsu gets self-conscious in front of girls and his heart starts fluttering. But if he does get self-conscious, he hides it really well. 11. We didn't get any secrets revealed in episode 12, but in the following episode, we learn that Kyogai is a fan of the Legend of the Eight Samurai and that he was writing an autobiography. 12. The following Taisho era secret appears in episode 15 when Zenitsu's Sparrow tells us its name is Ukogi because it loves Ukogi rice, but Zenitsu hasn't noticed and only gives it beans to eat. 13. Inosuke calls people by their correct name about once every seven times. Will there be a day when we'll hear him say any of their full names right? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. 14. The first Taisho secret Inosuke tells us is that Tanjiro's favorite rice ball flavor is plum seaweed. Of course, the first secret he reveals is going to be about food. 15. After episode 19, Tanjiro mentions that his parents used to toast rice crackers for them after every festival, and then gets a little emotional. But Nezuko gives him support so he can lead us to the next episode. 16. The first Taisho secret revealed by Ahashira comes from Shinobu, who lets us know that she formulates the poison she uses in her sword inside her scabbard, and that only she and her swordsmith know how it's done. 17. In the very next episode, we get another fact about Shinobu. She can't stand dogs, cats, or any furry creature, which is probably the main reason why her pet is a goldfish. I honestly didn't remember half of these when I was doing the research, and you won't believe what I found out in the next Taisho Secrets. We learned in episode 21.5 that one of the few things that makes Giyu smile are our videos. One day he found our channel when he was looking for the Urokodaki face reveal that we made in this video. And since then, he hasn't missed any of our content. You should subscribe too. If our videos can make Giyu smile, just imagine what they can do for you. And right before Shinobu revealed the next Taisho secret, they revealed that to be informed about any new report on demon activity, they always read Waku Waku, the number one anime newsletter to know all the news, announcements, and even monthly prizes it gives its readers. Now let's move on to the rest of the secrets. I bet you won't guess number 26. 18. In the Taisho secret of episode 22, Shinobu confesses to us how all of the Hashira are always simping. I mean, have a lot of respect for Oyakata-sama. And they all get excited to be the first to speak because whoever it is will be the one who gets to greet him. 19. Speaking of Oyakata-sama, Rengoku tells us in the following episode that Kagaya is the 97th leader of the Demon Slayer Corps. 20. Apparently Shinobu and Tamayo are not the only ones that know how to concoct medicine. Since Aoi has been training under Shinobu, she can prepare some simpler medicines. That's great knowledge if you work full-time caring for wounded demon slayers. 21. Do you remember the medicated water that the boys used in the reflex training with Kanao? Turns out that adding it to your bath can help with exhaustion and the healing process of wounds. That must feel nice to take a bath with that stuff. 22. 
Yufu Table opened the Mugen Train arc in its anime version by sharing what the other Hashira thought about Rengoku. Nobody had anything negative to say about it. Even the shy ones loved that flame donut. 23. Kyojuro didn't have any Tsukuko because his training seemed hella hard, and everyone ended up running away. 24. In the third episode of this arc, we didn't have any Taisho secrets, but we got to see Tanjiro speaking with his father, which definitely warmed my heart. 25. Inosuke's crow name is Donkirimaru, and it always stays hidden because Inosuke has tried to eat it before. Honestly, I'm not surprised at all. 26. We didn't get any Taisho secrets in episode 5, but Buff Nezuko finally appeared, and I couldn't be happier. Who doesn't love Buff Nezuko? 27. And after that, we got Rengoku accepting his Donary destiny, and we jumped into the Entertainment District arc. 28. In the first episode of this arc, Tengen reveals that he grew up in the shadows as a shinobi, and once he got out of it, all of his resentment exploded, turning him into the flashy, self-proclaimed god of festivals he is today. 29. They revealed that Zenitsu became a great Shamisen player out of nowhere in episode 2, and we even got to see how committed he is to becoming the best Oyuran in Yoshiwara. Because obviously that's the main mission, and who cares about saving Tengen's wives and defeating the demons there? 30. And after the Christmas special, we learned that only the most dedicated mice were selected to be muscular mice for the Demon Slayer Corps, but they also need to be a little narcissistic so they fall in love with their own muscles. So basically the main requirement is to be mini versions of Tengen. 31. While Zenitsu shows how envious he is about Tengen having three wives, Tanjiro informs us that Tengen's family practices polygamy, and at the age of 15, the head of the family picks out three wives sure to be compatible. But in Tengen's case, Suma stepped forward herself. I would have totally done the same. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what? 32. Just like we all expected. Nezuko also has a beautiful heart and was an amazing big sister to her younger brothers. Tanjiro tells us that when their grandmother died and then their father passed away, she told her siblings that since their relatives wouldn't be able to rest easy if they were always crying, they should all cry all they needed today so that tomorrow they could be strong and keep smiling. Jeez, that family must have been so loving and amazing, yet they've been through a lot. They definitely deserve better. I think I would have enjoyed seeing more of them when they were alive, but their deaths would have hurt even more. 33. We spend a couple of episodes without a Taisho secret, but then Nezuko reveals in the last Taisho secret from this arc that Tanjiro's rock-hard head was inherited from their mother, who once headbutted a boar to protect Tanjiro and Nezuko. Which Taisho secret surprised you the most? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content about your favorite anime. Thank you for watching, and that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.